Hello, I'm Extal. Today, let's create a silhouette visual effect using Touch Designer. This tutorial is designed to be simple and easy to follow. First, select the Movie File in Node in Touch Designer to import the video you want to apply the silhouette effect to. This node is used to load video files from external sources and serves as the input source for your project. Connect the Fit node to adjust the size to match the parent panel. The Fit node helps scale the input content while maintaining its aspect ratio or customize it to fit the desired layout within the parent panel. Next, connect the Threshold node and adjust the threshold settings. This node separates the pixels into black and white based on the brightness levels of the input video, allowing you to emphasize the desired silhouette effect. By changing the threshold value, you can fine-tune the contrast of the visual. Connect the Feedback node and activate the Reset option. The Feedback node is used to accumulate data from previous frames iteratively, creating unique visual effects. Next, connect the Level node to adjust the brightness and contrast and then link it to the Composite node. Finally, connect the composite node to the threshold node to complete the overall visual. This process allows you to fine-tune the layer combinations further enhancing the silhouette effect. Connect the blur node to the comp node to apply a smoothing effect. Then bring in another Comp2 node and link it to further refine the composition. By layering and combining nodes in this way, you can achieve more precise control over the visual elements, enhancing the silhouette effect within Touch Designer. Set the operation of the Comp2 node to Inside Luminance. This ensures that the blending is based on luminance values, allowing for more nuanced control over the effect, and creating a visually cohesive composition. In the left panel, click on the Image Filter category and select the Feedback Operator from the available options, then connect it to your network. This adds a dynamic feedback effect, allowing for iterative visual refinements that enhance the depth and motion of the silhouette composition. Next, add the Bloom Operator from the Image Filter category and connect it to your network. Adjust its parameters to fine-tune the brightness and glow effect. This adjustment allows you to precisely control the luminance of the silhouette visual, enhancing its overall impact within your Touch Designer project.
Connect the level operator to the bloom operator and experiment with the brightness, gamma and contrast parameters in the level node. Try varying these values to explore different visual outcomes and fine tune the effect until you achieve your desired look in the silhouette visual. Connect the RGB key node to the network, then adjust the green value to set a specific color as the key. This process detects and removes the range of green tones from the screen. Create an overnode to layer the silhouette onto your desired background and achieve a more trendy visual. Connect the RGB key node to the first input of the overnode to pass the silhouette data and use a file in node to load a video or image into the second input for the background. The overall vibe of your creation will vary depending on the colors and atmosphere of the background you choose, so feel free to experiment with different combinations. Try out various settings to create a result that truly feels unique to you. Adjust the values of the RGB key and level nodes gradually. In the RGB key node, fine-tune the threshold and tolerance values to refine the keying effect and remove specific colors more accurately. Use the level node to make subtle adjustments to enhance the contrast of the silhouette or modify its brightness. Repeat this process to achieve the optimal silhouette visual. Add a solarized node from the image filter category and connect it to the feedback network to create a unique solarized silhouette visual. By adjusting the soften value in Thresh, you can make the edges softer. Increasing this value will cause the silhouette's edges to blend more naturally, creating a smoother effect. Configure the feedback node to continuously accumulate and output the previous frames, then link it to the solarized node. When combined with the feedback node, this setup generates a dynamic, 
ever-changing Solarize effect, adding unique textures and motion to your visual. The tutorial is finished. I wish you the best in creating great work today. And the effect we created today can be found on Patreon. I recommend trying to make it yourself first. And if it's difficult, you can download the file. If you found this video interesting, please leave a comment. Bye.